Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Saris and welcome to my channel. First of all, I'd very much appreciate it if you could uh, hit that subscribe button. I know you guys come here to watch the normal videos, so you gotta hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Moving on from that, today I'm gonna be reacting to Norm McDonald on World War Two and World War Two conspiracies. So I'm so much looking forward to the shit he's gonna say. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. I'm so much looking forward to this. I say Hitler's bad. I don't think you have to try to define what bad is, or you, have to, you don't have to go through any of these epistemological uh, fucking uh, gymnastics to know that Hitler was bad. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I said it before it was cool to say it. <laughs> there is one country that worries me, though. Not Iraq, not Iran, not North Korea. The only country that really worries me is uh, the country of Germany. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are history buffs or not, but um, <laughs> in the early uh, part of the previous century, Germany decided to go to war. And uh, who did they go to war with? The world. <laughs> it had never been this. tried before. <laughs> And uh, so you figure that would take about five seconds for the world to win, but uh, no, it was actually close. <laughs> <laughs> then, about, then about 30 years pass, and uh, Germany decides again to go to war, and again it chooses as its enemy the world. <laughs> And this time they have that guy, Schrankly, Schrankly, that guy. And I'm not even going to dignify him by saying his name, but I think you know what I'm talking <laughs> But you'd think at that point the world will go, listen, Germany, here's the deal. You don't get to be a country no more on account of you keep attacking the world. <laughs> it was love seeing this. I love this, man. What do you think, you're Mars or something? <laughs> this Passover. is the closest I've seen to him admitting to the Holocaust, where he said, I think people have died. He's like, six million, six hundred, what's the difference? I'm like, oh. <laughs> There's a lot of difference. There's a Adam. huge difference. <laughs> Listen, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I say six million, he says six hundred. <laughs> you say probably a number in between there somewhere. My family comes from Russia. They're Russian Jews. Uh -oh. Russian and Jews is more like it. One of the biggest <laughs> anti-Semites I've ever known. <laughs> Russian away from Jews. I had a bar mitzvah. <laughs> what? I had a bar mitzvah, Norm. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Wait, are you Jewish? Yes. Get the fuck. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I love, I love the Jewish people. <laughs> yeah. He's a virulent anti-Semite. That's come out on the show. <laughs> he had a bar mitzvah. But, but there's never anything about A virulent? Well, he's a is Holocaust a denier. Oh. <laughs> I know you're very good friends with... Uh, David Irving, the <laughs> author, who he reads constantly. Yeah, I'm not friends with David Irving. <laughs> Do you know that he, though, is a revisionist? Oh, you're a revisionist? Well, he's a, a denier, Holocaust denier. <laughs> <laughs> he never, but he's never read David Irving because he said he's too smart. <laughs> and I tell him, well, David Irving is, is, would be your biggest ally, you know yeah. what I mean, instead of these morons. You knew David Irving instantly when I said it. You're as if you're his best friend. Totally. <laughs> 30, 30 kids. Oh, was it 50? Something well, like that. Some people, awesome they people. deserve capital punishment. No, 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 no. Are numbers. you anti capital punishment oh. or something? No, I'm pro capital punishment, but this guy starts num getting talking numbers and deaths. Be careful, because it always gets back to the Holocaust. <laughs> what? what do you mean when you say stripped of everything? Uh, don't start this again. <laughs> Please don't start no, just, this again. Let me, let me, I never believe in the whatever. Oh, what? I never got to go he to camp. He doesn't believe in the Holocaust. I never went to camp when I was a kid. Is that a good change of subject? <laughs> He doesn't believe that the Holocaust. Happened. Do you believe? Do you not believe that? I had a bar mitzvah again. No, had, why would you have a bar mitzvah if you didn't believe the Holocaust? Oh, happened. Jesus! Every time. The uh, uh, revisionist, the uh, Holocaust <laughs> denier. Oh, God. Wow, you feel better. All of a sudden, Wait, is it? Are you or not? I no, I no, I. Uh, oh boy. No, oh I boy. had a I oh had boy. a bar mitzvah. Oh yeah, I had oh, a bar you, mitzvah. You. I'm I'm full Jew. 
I'm just saying Stalin. Everyone overlooks Stalin. I'm just saying Stalin. Oh, is just Stalin comes out. <laughs> Stalin comes Stalin is worse. Goes right they're, no, yeah, they're they're both terrible. No, no, no. They were pretty bad. Stalin, though. Who banned me? I think it was Howard. Yeah, Howard. but you're a part of the same regime. No, all right. Well, technically, yeah. But Howard yeah, was, was an old no, man. Yeah, yeah, like Kim Jong Un, right? Has a soldier, but like if sure. You, yeah, I'm just following orders. That's yeah, right. but you're a part of the thing. I no, right? I admit that. All right. And what, what, what did I do? You know who you, else said they were just following orders? Hitler. Well, <laughs> that's what all the guys say. Stalin was the bad guy. <laughs> Stalin <laughs> was the bad guy. <laughs> they were both. <laughs> That's what they all say. That's the first They were both key. equally whenever, evil. Whenever you hear guys, what about Stalin? <laughs> what am I saying? I, I, I'm doing an Andy Kaufman thing by saying the Holocaust happened. No, by acting like he said it. I'm not acting like you said it. Ask him. When you ask him, he brings up Adam. Stalin. <laughs> the How enemy of Hitler. You know the power? The man who fucking stopped Hitler. Stalin! The only reason he stopped Hitler was oh, because Oh, good old Hitler... Joe! I was saying Stalin was just as bad. That's what he always says! Stalin was bad. Yeah, was but bad. if you're talking about Hitler, why is your first thing Stalin was just as bad? Well, it's, we have to, we'd have to define what badness is yeah. and levels of badness. Thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we, have to, we have to define that. Yeah. That's what you two are saying. Well, you found your soulmate. What do you think about guys like this, though? This guy? Yeah. He seems like Comes around, this is, this is his little joke it's against, the, stone uh, against the poor uh, masses that, that came out of it's a, a chimney. Being from Manchester, this has nothing to do with the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring up the Holocaust. <laughs> you did? I love that you sort of gleefully said, I didn't bring up the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> I normally do by mistake, but today. Right? <laughs> you bring up he said, how could there be poison, uh, you know, a poison gas. I don't know much about the Holocaust, but the, uh, what do they have inside the... Uh, uh, the two of you together just are really uh, giving in, great inside, homage to that whole time. Inside the gas chambers, they put a certain type of gas. Zyklon. Zyklon gas. Guards would open the door and get the Zyklon all over their hand and die also. How would that not Maybe there was a sub door. But he had another thing. I don't want to make pretend we're something. He said, he said when the Allied planes came over, they have pictures apparently of the smokestacks. And he said the smokestacks uh, drop a shadow. The smokestacks that we all know uh, spewed out the uh, sad remains of human souls that once had dreams and once loved. He says, it's all a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me this big story about how the uh, pictures from the planes on Dachau and stuff yeah. don't show enough, uh, uh, the chimney is not long enough, it doesn't cast a long shadow enough to have possibly been big enough to service the <laughs> what? killing machine in the middle. That's what he told me. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. Oh, you yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you finally found someone to agree with you. So, that was no McDonald's on World War II and World War II conspiracies. It was more of attacking Adam Eggett about his, um, uh, the way he denied Holocaust. You know, I mean, that's what he's talking about because he denied Holocaust. Even though he said he had apartments for it, but still. He's talking about a Stalin is as bad as Hitler and stuff like that. And whereas Norm, like, you can't compare the two evil. They're two different type of evil. But they're both fucked up. No saying they're no. But Hitler did some fucked up shit. And every time the number comes up, Norm just pounds. He just pounds on Adam. And it's absolute brilliant to watch him work. He worked Adam very well. Like, uh, he he plays him like drums, man. It's so great to watch him, uh, watch him do that, watch all these old episodes and get to see the brilliance of it. I really do love it. And you guys know how much I love Norm. And I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep doing it because I can't stop. And I hope you do enjoy as well. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And there is a massive gallery of Norm reactions I've done. So go ahead and check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.